Hello and welcome back, Odours. My name is Jose Ignacio. Ever wanted to be completely sure you're only sending the best emails to your recipients? Well, with A and B testing, you can. And it's built right into Odoo's email marketing app. A slash B testing ensures only the most effective marketing emails are being sent out by letting you design multiple, slightly different variations of the same email and send them out to a small portion of your mailing list just so you could test it. You tell Odoo what form of engagement you care about most, such as click or open rate. And Odoo will automatically determine the best version based on the engagement they received and send that version to the rest of your mailing list. By using A slash B testing, you can be at the very top of your marketing A game. So let's get into it. Enough chit chat. So here at Stealthywood, we've been hard at work on an email campaign for our latest model of Teak Tables. Our two best designers have put together a great looking template, but they disagree on the main call to action. Now Mitchell Admin thinks we should offer a limited time 10% off coupon with the email, while Mark Demo thinks it's better off without it. Quite the predicament, huh? I don't know who could win this. But we don't have to guess. Let's run an A slash B test so that we can see who's right and only send out the more effective email. So to start an A slash B test, we first need to open the mailing that we're interested in testing. So from the email marketing dashboard, we can see all the saved mailings that we have sent or are ready to send. We can actually see our email in question right there, the new Stealthywood Teak table. So let's click on that to get started over here. Okay, so our designers already built out the first email template. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good. So let's set up our A slash B test and design an alternative version for Mitchell Admin. So to get started, I'm going to actually click on the A slash B test tab over here. And oh no, would you look at that? We can only see one field, allow A slash B testing. So let's click that right there. And then once we do that, we're going to get a whole bunch of other fields right there. I want to make a quick note that if you're on an email that's already been sent, this checkbox right there can't be ticked. In that case, you'll want to go up here to actions, which is the little gear, and select duplicate and then rename it to whatever you need to. This makes a duplicate email that hasn't been sent yet, which means we can still do our A slash B testing. Okay, so let's take a look at our other options here. So to start, we can select what percentage of our mailing list we want to run this test on. Odoo sets it at 10% by default, but in our case, I want to be extra sure. So I'm going to select 15%. Haha, <laughs> I know 5% more, but it matters. So up next, we have this winner selection field, and it allows us to choose a measure that we use to determine our winning email. And I'm going to click into our drop down right now. So for example, the highest open rate right there, this option measures how many of our test emails are opened by recipients. This can be particularly helpful with recurring emails such as newsletters. Whichever version has been opened by the most recipients in the time span we set is the version sent out. Other measures inside of here include highest click rate, which measures the amount of recipients who click any links within our email. This might be useful when trying to direct recipients to a particular link, especially like during an online sale. But let's keep going forward. We're going through all of these. All right, highest reply rate. Now this measures the number of replies the email received from recipients. And below that, we have a few measures that tie in with Odoo CRM and sales app. So let's go through our first one. We have quotations. And then our second one, we have revenues. So these two will select the highest metric of that type coming directly from the CRM and sales app in your database. That's pretty cool, right? Now for our case, since we're also not working with something like leads or anything else, and we want to see whether the promo code is bringing customers to our website, we're actually going to use in our case, the highest click rate. So that's where we will settle there. Okay, so finally, we have the ability to set the date and the time the winning email will be sent out to the rest of our recipients in the send final on field. Let's give ourselves a few days and set it. All right, let's pick, you know what? Let's pick Sunday morning, just like that song. Let's pick 9 a.m. as well. All right, that's perfect. And then we're going to select apply. All righty. All of that set up, we can see a nice summary of our A slash B test on the right right there. And now that our test is all set up, let's click create an alternative version, which will let us use Mitchell Admin's email as the second template in the A slash B test. Now, once that we click that button, we're given this duplicate of the email template that we were just working with. Now let's add Mark Demo's 10% off coupon as well. So I'm going to scroll down a bit. Um, let's just pick somewhere. 
It's finally time for us to drag something in. Now, since we're doing a coupon for this, we want to drop a promo code. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I didn't have to come up with anything, but I don't like the number that we're doing for it. $20 off? No, sir. 10%. And then this is a misleading number there. So we're going to do end of summer 10. And we got to change this date real quick. We're targeting, what did I say? Sunday morning? We we're on Thursday. I'm forgetting my days today. Friday's the 20th, 24th, 22nd. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, oh doers. Now up next, now that we've edited all of that, we've selected everything. I think it's time for us to also change this background color so that it sticks out. I'm going to pick a red. Wow, that is glaringly hard to avoid at that point. That's perfect. Now, if you want to learn more about design templates, check out our two videos on designing email marketing templates in the description. Okay, that looks good. Now for the pun part. Well, we can send our two test emails off and wait to see the results. We'll see you there. So let's say that a few days have passed. Time to check out the results and see which version was more effective. From the A slash B test tab of either email, we have the option to compare both versions of our email. You'll also notice they create an alternative button below it. If we want to make another version to test, we can click here. But we just want to see the results of our test, so I'm going to compare the versions. So on this page, we can see a list of each version of our email to compare. We can see the date the email was sent, the subject of the email, the user who sent the email, and how many have been sent, along with our measures as bar graphs as well. And here in the click rate, we can see, drum roll please, Mitchell Admin's email was more successful with a 21% click rate compared to Mark Demo's 8.3. I guess everyone appreciates a discount, huh? Well, that just about does it for this video. Today we learned how to use Odoo's email marketing app to create an alternative version of an email and set up an A slash B test to automatically send the best email version to your customers. If you'd like to learn more about the email marketing app, check out the email marketing playlist in the description. I heard that the guy named Nathan who is on it is really resourceful and cool. Appreciate you, bro. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Go grab a snack. I ate mine during the filming of this one.